Hello and welcome back to another episode of Podcast Pals. My name is Donovan. I'm Nova. And my name is Luigi Man. And in this episode, we're going to be discussing the recent Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, Nova and Luigi, why don't you guys introduce yourselves real fast? Sure. Um, I'm Nova Stalgic. Um, I've been part of Pokéhouse for just since just after the first month of the server. Um, I do a YouTube channel where I talk about all different nostalgic gaming, so stuff from the late 90s, 2000s, 2010s, all the way up to today. Um, I've been really interested in gaming since I was younger. I do a lot of filmmaking as well, so that's kind of like my best way of um, combining the two together. Um, I've been active in a lot of gaming communities, including um, Pokemon Showdown, and I was recently staffed for Toontown New Redmond as well. That's pretty cool. Luigi? Yeah. Um... Well, my channel is going to feature uh, predominantly Let's Plays. Uh, I haven't really found the, good, the the right equipment yet, so it's it's still a work in progress at, the, at this point. But 2018 is going to be the year. All right. So, um, Nova, let's start with you. What did you think of the Direct? Just as a whole, before we talk about anything. As a whole, as someone who just recently got the Switch, it was a fantastic Direct. Um... There were a lot of games that I was definitely interested in. Um, they brought back a lot of games that I had previously enjoyed, but I haven't had in a while. Um, so like Mario Tennis, for example, they've been lacking a bit. They seem to be doing better. Um, haven't had any Kirby games in a while. They've been doing better. Um, so overall, I was very pleased with just the, how they presented it. Um, and I'm very excited to get some of those games for sure. All right. Um, on my end, I thought it was pretty solid i don't really think they had one planned i still don't think that but then once they saw everything on social media they just sort of threw it together and like the the two weeks that twitter's been kind of forced in the direct and you can kind of tell yeah some stuff on there but uh it, it wasn't it wasn't bad at all there were definitely some surprises some cool things and i think it was pretty solid for 15 minutes yeah, for the length, yeah. it was pretty good. Yeah, they crammed a lot in there. Yeah, that's how the recent ones have been. It's been like rapid fire. It makes sense, because when you're a filmmaker, um, like less time is less money, so... <laughs> Luigi, what did you think? I also thought it was a, it was a very good direct. Uh, pretty much everything that was shown was interesting to see. Uh, and that, there's a lot of there's a lot of promising stuff uh, that's, that, that's gonna come out this year. You know, Switch did amazing right off the bat, and it's looking like that's just gonna continue on through in uh, in 2018. So starting with the beginning, they started with uh, the world ends with you, a port of a DS game. Any of you guys yeah. played that? I did not know. No, I never got a, I never got a chance. I never. What I have. I've heard exclusively good things about it. I hadn't even heard about it before, so... Supposedly, a sequel is in the works for the Switch. So I think by porting over this first game... Is what it is, that's gonna sorta... Pave the road and build more of a fan base for the second one. Is the reason why they did that. That makes sense, for sure. Yeah, to, to, to summarize what I thought of it... Uh, Porting it to Switch is a good chance for a lot of people to discover The World Ends With You and a good chance for old players to relive the experience, especially with that new scenario that they teased. Yeah, they did say it wasn't just a port, they were adding quite a bit. Yeah. But uh, moving on, there were new... Okay, there were two new characters for Pokken and then some support characters. I believe it was... Yeah. And that was Blastoise and then... The guy from Aegis Slash. Aegis Slash, yeah. Uh, or or, or Slash, as the, the guy in the direct said it. But, the, yeah. but they, they mispronounced Mimikyu either, so it's fine. But, yeah. Um, I still have yet to pick up Pokin. It I almost got Same. it for the Wii U, but... um. I, I have the Wii U version, but uh, I didn't play it that much because I'm not that much into uh, traditional fighting games. They did say it'd be paid DLC. It is paid, yeah. Did they say um, a price? No, did no they price. say a price? I'm gonna look back right now. 
I don't think they said it in the direct. I don't think they said a no. They it's available for purchase now. Um, oh, so I'm sure there's a price out there. And they, I'm sure they there said, is a price out there. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that yeah. real fast. They said the uh, the pack with Age Slash and Mega Rayquaza and Mimikyu uh, was releasing January 31st, and then March 23rd, it's uh, Blastoise and Mew and Celebi. That's the only uh, the only detailed info they gave they gave out. Okay, so that's that's one pack coming up soon, and then later down the road, they've got more. Yeah, I think I don't know. It still doesn't look like it's worth it to me. It's it's not a bad game, but it's like once you play it, it it's just I'd rather play it at a friend's like for an hour and then not touch it. Uh, moving on, what was next? Uh, Kirby. Kirby. Okay, Luigi, go. <laughs> Kirby Star Alice. I've been waiting for this. I, I was I was hyped for Kirby Star Allies ever since it was first revealed all the way back at E3 last year, and this just made this just made the hype even bigger and made it made it even more of a must buy for me. It does look. All I'm hoping for is it seems very, uh, very oriented towards working with uh, multiple characters. The 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 mix abilities that they brought back from sixty four. Uh, the and yeah the other mechanics the the friend throw mechanic they showed off. The the thing to me and I'm I'm not a Kirby person, but I know most of the games are single player. Some of them are co op, but like the more recent ones but like this game looks like it'd be really boring if you weren't playing it with someone uh yeah most of the single play the only co-op ones are i think superstar and by extension ultra and return to dreamland i think that's it um i played epic yarn oh epic, epic yarn also, I, yeah. I, I i i had a feeling i was forgetting one yeah so so i i i know it's so this would be like one of those few and again, the only Kirby games I've played are Epic Yarn and Return of Dream. You could still play those games by yourself and still get the full experience. Yeah. This game yeah. kind of looks like... I mean, I'm not saying you can't do everything, but it just... It, it doesn't really look quite as intriguing, you know? Yeah, if I'm going to get this game, I'm definitely going to go with just single player. I don't think I'm going to do co-op. Um... Well, as long as you can do all the multiplayer stuff by yourself with, like, AI partners, and let's hope their AI is better than it was in Amazing Mirror, because my god. I mean, they've been, they've been doing a lot better recently, I know. Um, Ultra, they did a lot better. Not sure what uh, what other games they haven't really played too much, Kirby, since then. Um, for me, once they said mix abilities, that kind of sold me. Um, going yeah. back to Kirby 64 and all that... At, with the mix abilities, but there are only a few. But now they've put a lot more abilities in, and it's it looks really promising to me. So maybe yeah. I'll get it. Um, what, I, what I'm wondering about, because in the on E3 they showed a few, and in this one they showed combining Spark and Yo-Yo, and also that Yo-Yo's coming back. That's another good thing. Yes, Yo-Yo's coming back. And yeah. Uh, and also some new abilities, which is to be expected. Every every new Kirby game comes with new abilities. Yeah. Wasn't art? I think Artist was actually used before in another Kirby game, but it hasn't been back since like retro era. Um, the spider one looked really interesting. Um, I, I, I like the ability idea. If it, it looks like they took a lot of inspiration from um, the Bug Z move in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah. <laughs> That is what that looks like, yeah. So, I, I love I, the idea, I guess. though. Sakurai made a good game, definitely. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's going to turn out great. So yeah, so in Return to Dreamland, we could make Indiana Kirby jokes, now we can make Spider Kirby jokes. Exactly. There's got to be fan art of that already. The, the Spider-Man Kirby. Oh, I've seen fan art oh, popping yeah. up already. Per people work fast. There's, um... In... There's like a bunch of the uh, bunch of uh, art I've seen from the new that new Francisca character as well. 
in um, Gas Sinnoh server, they uh, someone recently posted a picture of the Sinnoh starters in Kirby form, and it was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Now that's a crossover. Yeah. You'll probably but get that still... on Switch before you get a Pokemon on Switch. <laughs> probably. I, mean, I, I think that's the big thing they left out. The, the Pokemon that's in development for Switch. Oh, I mean, oh, they left out a lot. Pokemon, Metroid, other games. Um, I think because this was put together very swiftly. Well, Metroid 4, I was not expecting Metroid, Metroid Prime 4, because that's still way too far a ways away. That game could come out next year. Like, like, if not the end of this year, like, I could see that being... One Final quarter. Final quarter of this year at earliest. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, if they're gonna show that game, it'll definitely be E3. Yeah, that yeah, that's probably for uh, th they'll probably save it for E3. That's an E3, and I think Pokemon, if that's coming out this year, they would do it right before E3, like they've done with Sun and Moon and whenever Ultra Sun. I don't even remember. When that was. Back from 3DS and Wii U. Um, so there really aren't any like blockbuster, like big show titles like Breath of the Wild or Odyssey in that direct um and I, you wouldn't expect them to it was a but pretty short direct there is a pretty big port Hyrule Warriors yes yeah all super hyped I never got I, that was the one game that looking back I wanted to get on either 3DS or Wii U and didn't get for either system so the fact that they're combining both games into one is just so exciting for me um that's definitely an instant buy for me for sure yeah I, I think I'm gonna get it I got Hyrule Warriors on Wii U on, on release day, and I liked it, despite never having played a Dynasty Warriors game before. Uh, yeah. And then I got uh, I got the 3DS one for Christmas in uh, 2016. At least I know I got it for Christmas, and it wasn't this year, so it must have been 2016. So you played both versions, and now this is... I haven't a touched combination. Legends yet. I haven't touched Legends yet. Oh, you haven't touched it all? No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Now, have you played uh, any um, of the Warriors I haven't games? played Dynasty Warriors. I've played a bit of Hyrule Warriors, but not, not of the original. No, I haven't. I also skipped out on Fire Emblem Warriors. Yeah, I'm I didn't not, get Fire Emblem Warriors either. I'm not, the, I'm not that big a Fire Emblem fan, to be honest. Mm, same. Yeah. I could see myself getting that when it's on sale, but I would rather get Hyrule Warriors just because it's Zelda. Yeah, yeah at exactly. At, at this at this point, if you're gonna get it, get the Switch version because that has all the DLC. Because the because the total price you would pay for Wii U plus all the DLC, that's just ridiculous. That's that's like over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I guess what what baffles me is like that because I'm not super surprised that this is on Switch, but Fire Emblem Warriors just came out. So why release another Warriors game so quickly, especially when, like, I know Fire Emblem, like, it is pretty popular now, but, like, compared to Zelda, like, this is going to sort of overshadow that, I feel. I mean, Fire Emblem Warriors itself got overshadowed already by games like Odyssey and Xenoblade 2. That's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. Uh, Definitive Edition comes out spring. They just said spring. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's, it's not quite definitive. It's uh, it's just spring 2018 at, at this point. No, no, it's called Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Well, yeah, that title. Yeah, I, I was talking about release date. Oh. And then there's the Breath of the Wild costumes, which which is not too surprising. I've seen some people talk about why they're not separate characters, but Let's be honest. That's that would be too many. Yeah, I mean, how many? Links we don't need. Today? We don't need more links. Exactly. So uh, after Warriors, they showed off uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Yeah. Yes. So I I remember when the last Mario Tennis was announced for Wii U. It was awful. You are very passionate about Mario Tennis. I see. Okay. So I just remember thinking like, oh, well, my God, more Ultra... to it, but they just haven't showed yet. There wasn't more to it. No, Ultra Smash was garbage. This I didn't even get the game. I, I literally looked at it, I'm just like, why? I played the demo in GameStop and got bored. That is my experience <laughs> with Mario Tennis. Uh, but, but this game looks like 
there's some like soul to it. Like there's gonna be a reason to come back. It's not just Wii Sports HD, you know. Yeah. Um, they said it's the first pow- uh, no, first um, story mode since Power Tour on the Game Boy, which is pretty yeah. awesome. Um, if you look at games like Mario Baseball, uh, both uh, Superstar Baseball and Super Sluggers, which um, we didn't get. Had, both of them had really cool story modes. So to see that type of thing come back, I think is really exciting, especially yeah. because I'm a huge Mario Sports fan. So um, definitely seeing Mario Tennis back in its former glory um definitely something i'm looking forward to for sure I mean, that that's what in my opinion make the uh make the mario sports games uh interesting is when when uh they put a twist on it that's why that's also why i think mario sports mix for wii was underwhelming because it it tried to emulate the proper sports well yeah, yeah right but then you have stuff like you, then you have stuff like Mario Golf Toastal Tour, which put which has uh, things to put a twist on it. You have Mario Power Tennis way back on the GameCube, which has a, some extra modes, some mini games, the Power Shock, which I really want them to bring back instead of this this stupid colored area uh, thing mechanic that they introduced in uh, in Tennis Open. It, well, you know what? I still... that's my only problem. That's my only problem with this that that mechanic is still in. You know what I saw though that was really cool. Um... They did. They had a shot of uh, Mario playing like a piranha game, um, and that I believe was a reference to a really old mini game back in Mario Tennis on the N sixty four. So that alone got me really hyped for this game, and it's showing that they're putting a lot more effort into making this game, which is uh, yeah. Ten thank 60, goodness. Then the sixty four I missed out on. That that was the first Mario sports game I played, and it was really fun. Um, Cast of characters was great for that game. Um, there were a lot of unique courts that you could unlock by winning tournaments with characters. It's, it's the um, first game. It's the first game that Waluigi and Daisy appeared in. Fun fact. Um, I think Waluigi appeared in Mario Party three first. I believe ten. I believe tennis was before three. Before was Mario tennis three. before three? Maybe. I think. I thought I think tennis so. was his debut. Yeah, okay. That, yeah, it was for both of them. Both of them first appeared in Tennis and Mario Party 3. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I know they both appeared in both games. I don't know what, what was up with that weird outfit Waluigi was wearing, but hey, who am I to question? They yeah, they really wore, they wore... The tennis hats. I think that's what makes it weird. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of... Yeah, that was weird. Did you see Wario's hair? Yeah. The top of like... Wario's hair? That was so weird. Um... But I, I don't know, I like the outfits a lot, it kind of intrigued me. Um, it, it and it's it, showing that it's like, it brings like a new style to... Yeah, and it gives um, a bit of personality to this game instead of yeah. using the outfit. Yeah. It's like I said, the good Mario Sports game, take take the original sport and then put a twist on it. Uh, Mario Strikers is one I forgot to mention earlier. With the, with the Super yeah. Strikes and, and the Mega Strikes in the second game. And... Uh, the thing that stood out the most to me is that the characters have health meters, and I didn't see I didn't see any like points that you normally see in tennis anywhere. So it's so my question <laughs> is is health meters going to be the replacement of the normal tennis point system? It very well could be. Which I don't know if I'm a fan of that yet, but we'll uh, we'll I see, see like what it game. looks like. Yeah, I think we need to see <laughs> more before um, I can kind of decide whether to buy it or not, but. One it looks Luigi really promising. Was uh, it, it was it was full price, or it might have been fifty dollars, which is is way too much for a ten. Here, in this one, I, I I haven't we haven't seen the whole game, but I wouldn't pay if they make this one reasonably priced, then I think it'll sell more. It's kind of like what they did yeah. with Sonic yeah. Crisis. Yeah, no, the price. yeah, yeah, no sixty dollars, please. I, it depends on how good the game is for me, just because I am such a huge Mario Sports fan. But uh, I don't, I don't think we'll see more of it uh, before it releases. I think this is all we're getting for. Tennis. No, what they've got to show well, more than this. Say was coming out? Uh, this spring, somewhere this spring. They're they're probably gonna show more of it like March or something. They're probably gonna show. I would, like I, would and stuff. I would at yeah. least expect one or two more trailers, if not more. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, that's fair. One, uh, a trailer, a random trailer drop maybe, but n not a not a direct that is going to be devoted to it. Oh no, I'm not expecting that. Oh no, of course not. I, I could see them doing like, not like a unique character that we've seen before, but like a, a trailer based on like a character that hasn't been seen in a sports game for a while. I wouldn't know who that is because I don't play Mario sports games. Hmm. You two could probably think of someone. Someone that hasn't been in Mario Sports games in a while? Is that or what you're asking? Or maybe not at all, I don't know. Wiggler? Oh. Wiggler was in uh, Power Tennis, actually. Yeah, Power not, Tennis and then... Wasn't really a fan of it. And um, Mario Kart 7, I think. It was, yeah. Not a fan of it. Um, it'd be nice to see Paratroopa again. I don't think he's been in it in a very long time. Mario... Um, and, and this isn't just a sports game. This goes with party and cart. They kind of been yeah. Oh, I play. Oh, uh, I always, I always play Paratrooper back in Power Tennis because his dive was broken. It, it was, was so and busted. Same in it Mario. Was so same busted. In, same in N64 Mario Tennis. Paratrooper and Boo were both broken as hell. It was great. I mean, I, I, I can speak for uh, Tennis 64 only Power Tennis. Yeah. Um, I like to see Diddy Kong and Birdo come back for sports games because neither one have been in one. In a long time, um, they were last time we saw both of them was Mario Kart Wii. Yeah. Um, and Diddy Kong might have yeah. appeared. Oh no! Well, that's Maybe. not true. They both appeared in um, whatever the 3DS Golf Mario Golf was. Oh, I don't remember right. the name there of was it. Was it an Island Tour? I want to say. No, that's Mario Party. No, that's Mario Party. Oh, we don't oh. we don't talk about Mario Party Island Tour. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, World Open, I think it was. Or is that, no, was that Mario Tennis World Open? Oh, great. Uh, that, that just tells you, um, how low the series has gone in that time frame. Yeah, this, yeah, a lot of recent Mario Sports games have become very forgettable. Yeah, so, so, hopefully this will bring it back up, because I'd really like to see some more great, uh, Mario Sports games, because it's been a while. So after that, they went to, uh, does anyone know how to pronounce this? <laughs> no! Yeast what did I say? Eight, I think is what it was. It's, it's yeast or yeast or whatever. Sure yeast, Ye yeast, yeast eight. Um, yeah. which I've never heard of this franchise. Have either one of you heard of this before? Nope. I've heard of it. I, I have heard of it. It looks cool. Okay. Well, I, it uh, I mean, it, it looks like something that's like a combination of Xenoblade and Monster Hunter. Yeah, I immediately at, thought of Monster at this Hunter. point. Yeah, yeah, I'm fat. I'm, it's looks. It's not my type of game, but it looks fascinating. Yeah, I heard. It, it, yeah, the, the well, the 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 big thing that was shown about it was the uh, the three attack types, and that the you apparently have to cycle through to get, uh, get through uh, get get through a boss weak uh, boss's weakness. Is it like Pokemon? Uh, I, uh, more, I so. I'd say more like. Um, like how Pokémon and Arms both have three styles, where there's like grab, defense, and attack. Oh, okay. Um, something closer yeah. to that, I would say. I, it um, looked cool. Um... The thing I'm wondering is, and this is because I'm one of the many people who's unfamiliar with this series, is if what is shown is new to eight, or if, or if if this is how the series has been for a while. I'd like to definitely do more research on it, um, even though it's not really a game I'm probably gonna get. But I might, I might be picking this up just to see uh, if this series series is worth getting into more. Yeah. But again, it's gonna be it. Again, it's gonna be price dependent. But yeah. Yeah, it looks like it'll be mm -hmm. full price. Yeah, I would assume it would be full price. Okay. Uh, Mario Odyssey update, but uh, nothing really. <laughs> do I even have to say anything? Do I even have to say anything? So, I okay. I really wanted Luigi play on this. I yeah. used him in in Galaxy a lot because I prefer the higher jump. So when I heard about this, I was a little disappointed. Uh, Luigi, I'm curious. Yeah. What do you think of Luigi? Yeah. Yeah. I I have the same mixed feelings. Like he's in the game, but you can't play as him. I was wondering where he was originally. Like, like they had the costume, yeah. but yeah, he he just left his clothes and then he he just he just took a vacation. 
I don't know, I've always preferred playing Mario over Luigi, just personally. Um, and that's with me being an older sibling, having a younger sister. Um, but... I mean, I'm the older sibling too, but that doesn't mean I'm playing Mario. I will say, and this is this is a really small thing, but I love this about Odyssey. Uh, so, uh, spoilers for when you beat the game, by the way. The, the time uh -oh. of day changes. Right. When you, uh... The what? Beat a kingdom, right? Not when you what? beat the game, but when you beat a kingdom, right? It either goes from day to like sunset. Not, I, I guess not in all of them. But oh, I never. Oh, I never, yeah. I never know this. Not really. Spoilers. I yeah, know. it depends on the. It depends on the kingdom. Um. Yeah. Then I again, know. I beat. I I beat the game and stopped. So um. So that, just, that's it for me for all this. Just to this... give a couple examples. Um. If you beat bubbling. Uh, if you beat uh, Seaside King, for example, it goes from midday, like noonish to sunset. That's my favorite if you, one. If you beat um, oh, that, Snowy yeah. King, Snowy Kingdom, it goes from blizzard to like just normal snowfall. Um, yeah, just if, stuff if like you, that. Yeah, New Donk City is a little if, weird. Yeah. If you beat, the, if you beat the Sand Kingdom, uh, Sand Kingdom is no longer frozen over. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sand Kingdom has a point in that, like a story where it's it's nighttime. What I noticed yes. about this when he was when Mario was looking for the balloon is that the the weather and the time of day was different. When he was in New Donk City, it was raining. Yes, um, and that's also the same for when you do the Koopa race. Um, it's actually nighttime and raining. Yes and no. I mean, yes, it's nighttime and raining, just like in that story mode. But here, it was clearly in the day, and it was like a very light rain. So it makes me wonder, like. Even if it's just for huh. a couple of kingdoms, and they add in some, like, extra weather, or, like, times of day, like... I yeah, if really you could, cool. like, if I, it was, I like, time-dependent, or... Change, I mean, it'd be really cool if it was changeable on your own, but I'm assuming it's gonna be time-dependent. Um, but either way, that's still pretty cool. Yeah. I'm a sucker for, like, really tiny stuff like that, when you get to see, like, the same level, but at night, or when it's snowing a bit, like, I really like Yeah. That. It'll be cool to see um, how they bring that back. So how so how about the actual mode? Uh, okay. The mode it's uh, it's cool. I actually um, I I actually like it a lot. Um, it's not something that's like sells the game if you want it if you haven't bought it. Like no, but um, I this is a sign of Mordecai. I think it Whether is. Free yeah. or not, even though I prefer free. I'd, I'd personally pay for Odyssey DLC. Odyssey DLC. Yeah. But I would pay. I would pay to have Luigi be playable. Yeah. <laughs> Say, just yeah. saying that out there right now. I mean, uh, Odyssey, I just adored it. It was, it's been the fastest game that I've 100%ed ever, pretty much. Um, so definitely if we could get some more stuff out of it and add some more replayability to it. Um, I mean, I'm gonna replay it for my channel anyway, but you know that type of stuff. It'd be really nice to see. So, I haven't like, decided. I haven't decided whether I want a LP Odyssey or not. Oh no, I'm definitely. Well, I guess this is spoilers, but I'm um, definitely LPing it. Um, maybe first LP later this month. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Nice. My my uh, problem with Odyssey. It's not really a problem. It's just sometimes. I don't really have anything to do. I mean, I, I'm nowhere near 100%ing it yet, so there's always moves to find, but that's just yeah. running around. And it, it can be hard to find stuff sometimes. This balloon yeah, kind of yeah. gives you something to do. Yeah, I just explored the king. Uh, I just explored the kingdom, just grabbed moons where I could, which, which meant that I always had way more moons than was necessary at any point in the game. Yeah. I was like, I, it's like... Like, at this point, you need 60 more moons. I proceed to find, like, 35 of them. Uh, it, sort of in that way. Uh, so, uh, then with... Uh, actually, I'll, I won't spoil that. Uh, so, when I went back to replay it after I beat the game, uh, uh, it was just more exploring and finding moons, and I, I, I stopped on the kingdom as soon as it became uh, just... Uh, a scavenger hunt. Yeah. That, that's mm. like, that was like the point for me. Is like, okay, time to go to the next kingdom and search through there. 
Yeah. Um, I we, when I got really late, there were only like a few moons left or a few coins left. I definitely looked up online stuff, not gonna lie, but... Um, I've yet, I want to see how far I can go before I look up a walkthrough, but I'm definitely gonna just Google them all and for, find for, it was For me, it was literally like... I want to say like 20, 30 moons left before... That's pretty good. Uh, I'm at like yeah. 600 now and struggling. I find like, I find like two moons a day. Yeah. I know I know that doesn't sound like a little bit, but it is when at the beginning That's, of the game yeah. you find like like twenty. Like other than that, they introduced uh they said they were bringing in new outfits. It mm -hmm. was cool. They got sunshine back in there. Yeah. Yes. I've seen a lot of excitement over that. Sunshine H D and uh new filters which I... Is, it, is it a teaser? Is it a teaser? It's a I, teaser, I, yeah. It See, that's the thing. Me. Like, you, the way they're showing it, it's like, we're bringing stuff soon, just be patient. Yeah. I definitely would expect some more yeah, like those in the near future, for I, sure. That's, that's pretty good you ask yourself, is there some underlying meaning behind these three specific outfits that got introduced? What are the three outfits? Let, let Hang on. This now is, you've gotten me intrigued. It's the sunshine the... one, it's the musician, which just matches yeah. the band members, and then the knight. Yeah, Night matches seen. Ruined Kingdom, though. Yeah. No. Um. So unless we're getting it's, Sonic. The no, Sonic it's it's not Sonic. enough for me because remember we had um, the builder outfit from Mario Maker. Yeah. Um. And then um, you know you know the um, out, I'm not gonna spoil it, but that outfit um in the first kingdom you visit after you beat the game, as well, which yeah. is a throwback. Yeah, so. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. But I know. On. I know what he's talking about. It's that. not. It's not. It's not enough yet for we'll me to say. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna bring back sunshine. Not enough. Definitely not enough. Uh, after that, they showed off SNK hero hero heroines, which uh, looks yeah. really girly to me, but. Not Wait, my type. I'm not like not my type no, of thing. No, it it does look like a proper fighting game. It does. No, it, it definitely looks well made. Um, just just not for me. And it, it's definitely the girliest fighting game I've seen since the con. But yeah. Um, and then the eShop title, uh, Aka Neo Geo, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of great things about that game. So that's nice. I'm, I don't think I'll pick it up, but it's definitely cool. I think it's a case of depending who you ask whether it tries too hard to be sp uh, special or not with this uh, the, the fact that you have to win in a specific way other than just yeah, depleting your weird. bonus HP. It's fine, honestly. Like, imagine playing it's, Smash it's and you have to get a Smash Ball. To well, it's, Smash. it's like a Mortal Kombat type thing, but eh, it's, it's yeah, okay. But, it, 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 it's, it's the PG fatality. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna pass on that. Yeah, I'm passing on it. But, you know, there are definitely... I'm sure there are definitely people that'll love playing it, so... Yeah. Uh, Mario Rabbids. It was... Yeah, Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong like is here. Story. My boy. Did y'all play Mario Rabbids? I have yet to pick it up, bit, um, um, but I, I definitely, I, I'm definitely getting it at some point. Um, I, beat at, first, I, I beat the first world and I stopped playing. Really? I'm not, Did you not like it, or? No, it's just you know my gaming collection. Yeah. Um, Fair. I definitely, I definitely want to get Mario Rabbids, and this is just like a new incentive for me to get it. Um, I just have to figure out when exactly it's going to be. But um, this is exciting, me for sure. Um, Donkey Kong is just one of my absolute all-time favorite Mario characters. So I wonder if his I wonder if his I wonder if his special ability is going to be uh, uh, it's going to be what he sh it's going to be what's shown in the trailer, which is the um, banana the, he threw. Yeah, probably the, the banana the banana ring. Banana ring, yes. Yeah. I was looking for the word. Yeah. Uh, payday two, no crossplay, but nope. No crossplay, no crossplay, but the exclusive character is a nice touch. I mean, um, yeah. Do the, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's real good. But does any version of Payday have crossplay? Mm, no. It does. I, th I think then it's not fair to uh, to dock points. That is true. Switch not having it. That's true. I mean, I've I've played the NPC and it's fun. Um, haven't really played it in a long time, but I I think um, having a group of friends to play it with would make it a blast. But I don't know. That game doesn't seem like it'd be fun. Yeah, like myself. when you're playing with friends on yeah. PC, then yeah, it, it is really fun. I've never played it myself. Um, oh no! It, it, when you're playing with friends, it's fun. It's it's like doing a GTA heist, basically. Um, I mean, I did like those. But um... yeah, this this is one of those games that I never play and never uh, never got a chance to play because I had no one to play it with. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I'm. I, if I pick it up, I'm going to make sure somebody else is picking it up. Yes, um, and I'm definitely not going to pick it up for Switch because I again I have the PC version. Well, well, Alex has showed interest already, so. <laughs> yeah, luckily I have Poker Pals to. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find. Oh, you'll is definitely a gaming find Discord. We all plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it fe? Is it fee? Is it iron? Fe. Fe. My bad. Fe. <laughs> iron. <laughs> they they, they said it. They said it in the direct. Fae. They did say fe. They pronounced a lot of things in the direct. You never know. True. That is very true. Yeah, but this um, is a game title. That's different. True. This game. This I mean, game. Honestly, I mean, looks... call it call it Fire Emblem if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Has this game been shown off before? It looks like something else. I, I have not seen it before. Maybe very slight bit. I, I've um, seen I, I've seen neither of the indie games. The the second of which we'll get we'll get to in a, a little the bit. The second later. second one is brand new, but the first one I think was shown off at some point. It looks. Uh, it looks remember, really solid, like iron. Bay is gorgeous. This, yeah, um, looks, that, that was yeah. literally the word I used in the video that, that I reacted to to the direct. Gorgeous. That was the exact wording because it just looks amazing. Yeah, this um, this uh, this song mechanic that they showed off looks. Uh, yeah. So looks looks to offer for a lot of creativity, and I want to say pla platformers have been very solid lately. To, like iron. Just yeah, just to name. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just to name a few, like just to name the off get the obvious ones out of the way, like Odyssey, Ahead in Time. Platformers have been very solid lately. I'll say it again. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so, what and so what this game it is, is it takes um, the song mechanic from Ocarina of Time, which was very well done originally, and combines it with a terrible game, um, Crash, Mind Over Mutants. I think they had Clash of the Titans. Crash of the Titans also. Crash of the Titans. Um, and, that, and that was... And those two games, which were both... By the way, I only had my own meetings, didn't like either one. Uh, and I played Crash of Titans, did not like either one of them. They're both not great games. Um, they have like their charms to it, um, where you're basically you're taking and inhabiting um, other characters. This was done before Odyssey. This was back in like late 2000s or early I mean... 2000s. So, I mean, it take what it does is that uh, Faye takes the best of each of those games and putting some together, which really excites me because both mechanics are fantastic and combining the two just really impresses me so um if this game i actually want to see if this game's on pc first um and if it's not uh that's where i prefer to play it because i have an xbox controller and that's we uh, i find it be way more fun with uh 3d just... platforms like hat and time and all that but um if not i definitely would like to get on the switch for sure, because it just looks awesome. And I've played two indie games that were released on Switch, uh, and I love the hell out of both of them. Both both Kamiko and Voaz were, uh, were great. I don't know what the first one is. I've heard of Voaz. Yeah, um, yeah, Faye is going to be available on all platforms. So Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. What's the, uh, what's AGTQ, uh, Kamiko's being run this year? Um, right now, they're playing, uh, Black and White. Pokemon Black and White is going on right now. Uh, then, um, then Kamiko might have already been run, so just look for the VODs. Okay, after Iron, calling it Iron, calling it Iron, they should've. 
the last Jack, yeah. which Lo another game that just looks great. Or gave uh, me very uh, uh, it gave me um what is that a thousand and one arrows or something? A thousand spikes, something like that. Yeah, a thousand one spikes. A thousand one spikes. Give me something like that type of vibe. Give me like a shovel knight vibe. Um, okay. just very cool. So I, a lot of games have been using like, like retro old school look, and that's fine. Yeah, but, like that. That's what I noticed too. Here, it yep. kind of looks, and and again, I'm not an artist, but it sort of looks like they they did it so they wouldn't have to. Like, I don't want to say put a lot of effort, because I'm sure it did. But like, like if you look at the main character sprite. Yeah, just, like, well that 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 one was not great. But if you look at the backgrounds and stuff, the background hard. Hard. It comes to it, it comes down to execution. It, either it's gonna be amazing or it's gonna be a pile of garbage. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a bother. specific style. I don't think it's it's not the biggest deal in the world for me personally. They said it, um, like she had stamina. She could climb any mount which makes me think of breath of the wild yeah so like like imagine being able to wall climb the 2d platform but well yeah. that's exact that's kind of what it is that's really i think that's what they showed exactly they it's literally... knuckles yeah no that's literally what she's doing she's knuckles, yeah. <laughs> but i assume it's gonna be a limit <laughs> or like a way to upgrade it yeah the, uh yeah it looks like it, if you look at the trailer she is very limited and then she has to wall jump for part of it yeah, and there's the, there's these crystals that uh, uh, that probably restore your stamina. That's probably what they do. Yeah, I'm sure. Could be uh, a collectible in the game also. Uh, one thing I uh, another thing another thing I like about this it's oh it has great potential for speedrun. That's that, yes. that's obvious. It, it has 100 percent speedrun potential, which is great. Um, and then you saw like assist mode, which gives you like ridiculous OP powers. Um, yeah. I was gonna go into that next. Yeah, this... Like, um, invincibility, which is just ridiculous. Um, like unlimited stamina, I think they mentioned, which is also overpowered. Um, yeah. So, so like... I like I, I like the idea of how customizable the difficulty is. Yes. There's, I, I, I forget which, I think it's Persona 4 that did this. I don't know if 5 did it as well. Where you can, or was it a different game? I forget. Uh, there's this game I'm thinking of, I can't remember the name of it, where you can, uh, where it also has fully customizable difficulty, like exactly how much damage you take, how much damage the enemies take. Oh, uh, oh well, I, I know, ra um... Rar rarity of the item drops, that, like... Oh, you, you know what, that's actually, you know what's funny? That's actually Smash Bros. Smash Bros. has that. No, that's, um, no, that's not the one I mean, it, it's an RPG. That's not the one you're thinking of, but I'm saying, um, yeah, Smash, Smash Bros. is that type of thing. Where you can, um, if you're facing like computer characters, how strong they are, what's the launch rate, um, special brawl, which really wasn't great in yeah. uh, Smash okay. 4, but like in games like yeah, Brawl Smash... Melee were cool. Um, I really so think, I think you know, cool, that type but... of customizability is very nice to see so, and very refreshing. Some... Yeah, for some reason, Persona 4 is what jumps to mind, but I could be completely full of, full, full of it. I have no idea. So after I that. Really played... After that, <laughs> Donkey Kong Country Trump. Tropical Freeze. Yes. Coming to Switch. Another, yeah. Another, yeah. Finally, something I can talk about. Okay. Another, <laughs> so another new game. Another go new. Go for it, Donovan. All yours. I wasn't. Yeah. Okay, like... All right. You go. Okay. So I'm not the biggest Donkey Kong person. However, I played Country Returns and like really, really liked it. It's a lot of fun for a friend. And I missed out on oh. Tropical Freeze because I mean I had a Wii U. I just I never got to it. And this was like a game I really, really wanted on Switch, but I didn't think they would do it because I thought they would like prioritize a new game, but they didn't, my, and I'm okay with that because my copy, my copy of Tropical Freeze is still factory sealed. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm in the same well, boat yeah, it's, as it's, you, Darren. It's, it's um, getting ported to the. He's getting ported to the Switch, and. I'm sure. I'm sure most people have seen the new funky mode memes that have been popping up. Yes. Oh great. That is, there's already a PNG of it. I'm going to staple it on so many. That is. So <laughs> oh funny. no. Like, oh no. I'm shaking my head right now. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Um. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, it's I one of the one. It's one of the better memes so far, if you ask me. Did you guys see the silver gun rip of the? I didn't. I, I see it. I, I saw it being posted, but I didn't watch it. I will not. 
spoil it. However, it is extraordinarily funky. <laughs> is all I'm excited. Good. I can imagine that. It being... I'm gonna yeah. send it to you guys after this. Please no, do so. No. I, I, I'm spec I'm on purpose not watching uh, that kind of stuff. What, Silver mm -hmm. Hunter? Yeah. Oh no, I'm definitely watching I, it. I, I know what it is, and because of that, I'm staying away from it. Fair but enough. I'll, I'll let people. Who... Episode. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let people. <laughs> I'll let people who want to watch it have their fun, but I no, it's not for me. It, for me, it's just like an on occasion type thing. Like I don't listen to it constantly, but there, if I'm like bored and I see a new rip, I'm, and then I just like binge watch a few. Um. Anyway, back to Donkey Kong. Uh, yeah. it, <laughs> Tropical <laughs> Freeze was a great game on the Wii U. I I, I only played it like at a friend's but uh i'm i'm really yeah. looking forward to playing it it does have they confirmed you can play with one joy con so it's going to be extremely portable it's it's definitely one i'm going to pick up like, yeah probably day one. <clears throat> um yeah. for me um i'm kind of in the same boat as you donovan where i had played previous Donkey Kong countries and hadn't picked up tropical freeze um except i didn't even get returns the last one i had was uh Donkey Kong country 3 on the game boy Okay, which so yeah, really shows you yeah. how dated I am. Um, and that game was just fantastic, uh, just with platforming too. and. Um, I've, I've I've heard the I've heard good things about the the handheld ports of the the original trilogy. It is yeah, all the handheld yeah. ports are fantastic. Which I would imagine um, if you're using one Joy-Con, it'd be very similar to that um, style of gameplay, which is awesome. I'm very excited for that. Actually, um, now that I think about it, I'm a little worried about playing with an analog stick on a Joy-Con. That would bother me, but I know. Honestly, you'll pro honestly just based on um, using like nunchucks for I think what Mario Bros. Wii had that style of gameplay could be could be di very very well, really wrong. Option on Mario Bros. Wii. I don't remember. Um, but it's not as bad as you think. You'll, I'm sure you'll be okay with it. I know I can't play games like Sonic Mania, but that's just not just Sonic. Mania. Well, that's that's Sonic Mania though. That's that's a Sonic game. You can't. That's not really a good comparison. Fair enough. Yeah, that's that's a very different different type of platformer. But um, definitely going to get this game when it comes out because I am very very excited for it. Um, May fourth release date. May the fourth be with you. Yes, that's right. Star Wars oh, that, Day. That's, that's, stuck that's out one thing. That's Interesting. One thing I, that's one thing I forgot to mention about the uh, about the two indie games we talked about, Faye uh, and Celeste. That those two are coming out very very soon. Yeah, Faye's coming out February eighth. I think was what 16, I just read. Uh, yeah, sixteen. Sixteenth. Sorry. It's also February sixteenth. No, February sixteenth, and Celeste is coming out January twenty fifth. Oh, so let's come out this month. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Actually, cool. three days. After, actually, three days after my birthday. Cool. That's cool. I know. What Very I'm nice. You for your birthday. <laughs> Nothing. Ooh. Ooh. What? That's what I've always wanted. <laughs> and then. After oh, Donkey. you're totally. You're totally Wait, gonna set me. One, you... one last thing about um, Donkey Kong. Um, you're totally. You're totally. Is it just me, me or is Funky Kong? really overpowered that's what oh, that's yeah. really the vibe i got from it from Luigi, that trailer yeah. it's just like no. he rolls through everything yeah he no funky kong is gonna be completely broken i mean isn't that how he always is that yeah. is true uh he was broken in mario kart um he was broken was in... he in any other games besides mario kart? he was broken in mario super sluggers he was broken like i, I, I feel like that. he was made for mario and not a donkey kong character. that's just Oh no, he, no. Um, his just... origin, his origins, um, are I believe Donkey Kong Country three, where he was one. the uh, vehicle's one. owner. Okay. No, he's so, a, he's in one. He's in one. Is, is he in one? one? Okay. Yeah, the the, so the, the the flight mechanic that has you go from world to world that's in one already. Oh, cool. Yeah, no. Um, what Donkey Kong Country three did was cool is that it had a um boat that you would travel by. Um, to get from place to place, which is cool. Yeah, in, in one he had the plane. Okay. Yeah, so I'm guessing two he had something as well. Probably. Prob so. Probably. Yeah. Still awesome though. Yeah. 
Funky Kong yeah. is always kind of There's... broken when he's been playable, so I think they've just yeah. stuck with that. He's that trend will like definitely continue. Though. Also, Do Dono, I, I know what you're going to do. You're going to send me that gif of, uh, of Willy Wonka saying you get nothing. You get nothing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. And then they finished off the Direct with Dark Souls Remastered. And that was it. Just Dark Souls remastered and done. <laughs> oh, haven't heard this story before. <laughs> and I, well, Dark Souls, I got nothing. I mean, I, I, I was hoping for, with that. It's only disappointing just because I was hoping for something else. Like I heard, like the way they described it, I was like, like is that Nintendo a new Bayonetta game, game possibly? Like, yeah, putting Bayonetta uh, so. two, putting Bayonetta two to Switch, just bring, just bring every good Wii U game over. That, see, that's what I thought. That's what I thought they were gonna do. I was like, okay, this is exciting, and make the week, make the Wii U completely unnecessary. I don't know. Um, Dark Souls really isn't my type of game, unfortunately. So I'm a little bit disappointed because of how hyped that ending was. But um, yeah, I know why. I'm sure there. I mean, there are some people I'm sure that are excited for sure. Going, yeah, um, there's a lot of people who are excited. Yeah. So I can't be, you know, I can't be too mad about that. Other people are really happy with it. I played Dark Souls for about five minutes, gave up. But <laughs> it was on, it was at my friend's house. So if I buy the game, I'll force myself to beat it. But uh, oh yeah, same. But I'm probably not gonna get it. Uh, for me, it kind of got ruined by. When other difficult, when other games that were perceived as difficult came out, that people immediately went, "This is the Dark Souls of blank." Crash that, Bandicoot what... is the Dark Souls of platforming. <laughs> well, which, that, it's that, not, that, which it's that, not, that, by the way. It's, it's not, not at all. <laughs> no. That, that one, that, except for that one bridge level, which um, we're not going to talk about. Dark yeah. Souls is the Dark Souls of Dark Souls. People Pretty are much. making it see. People are making it seem like the remaster is significantly harder than the original. No, it's just as difficult. That's how, that's how difficult games were back in the day. Yeah. That's that's what I had to deal with as a kid. Yeah. Stuff like Crash One. Like games where the the lasting appeal of them was uh, that it took you a significant amount of time to beat them because of the difficulty. Yeah. I I've seen there are a lot of fascinating youtube videos on that topic um if you guys are interested you can definitely um look that up and it's That's pretty cool. much everywhere people are talking about it like i think the controversy I think, behind it and everything i think that's the biggest uh thing that turns me away from games like dark souls and bloodborne uh to name a few is that that the, those games those games are difficult because they want to be difficult as opposed to the games of old that are difficult because they want to provide because they want to try and provide a challenge. Hmm. Um, yeah, right. So looking like at all it. the games that were announced, there were five ports out of all of them. And there were one, two, three, four. Actually, there were more Iron games. Warriors. Oh. Yeah, there were a Warriors. lot more games. There were a lot of games. They really... Yeah put a lot together. That's why I was so impressed by it when I first initially saw it. It's just because they put so much together into one little thing. But five and of them were ports. Just... What do you guys think of ports on the Switch? Are you against? Are you for it? Totally, totally, totally for it. Um, if it's, especially if it's a 3DS or Wii U port, I'm totally for it. Um, if it's a PC game, I'm less inclined depends on the... uh, to get but it depends on the game um in that scenario um but well, if it's I... coming from the 3ds or wii u like pokin and uh... okay i'll throw i'll throw an example at you a hat in time a switch port is still in the works uh, currently i have it for pc so <laughs> that's well, the end I... of that story well i do too i i backed it on kickstarter so did you i think did i back it did i ba i think i backed the hat, hat in time I, I I was a backer. I'm a, I'm also a backer for uh, Bloodstained, which uh, so far nothing has been mm -hmm. shown. I of... I know I was a backer for Planet Coaster. I always um, backed Mighty Number Nine. Cr crossing my Ooh. fingers that it, crossing my fingers that it will actually come out this year, like they said. What game? Uh, Bloodstained. 
Problem, oh, is yeah. I, problem is, I backed a Wii U copy. Oof. Rip. Alright, so uh, final sucks. thoughts? Good shit. I like that. <laughs> let's uh, let's all plug our... And demonetized! <laughs> had, to wait until the had to wait until the very end. Yeah, we didn't say any bad words. No, I used hell once, that was it. <laughs> now twice. This was child friendly until you got here, Luigi. Yep. We swore a lot last episode, don't worry. Oh no, I, I, I saw. I saw. Both of you plug your channels and then I'll plug that server I own. Yeah. Um, can, you just, can you just drop a link in the description or something? Yeah, but I gotta tell them what the link is. Okay. So um, Remember? So, uh, mine is... Well, uh, you can find me at No Nostalgic on YouTube. Um, I also stream every single Friday and Saturday at twitch.tv slash no nostalgic. Um, I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. Um, Patreon also. And then I have a discord server um which i can't really talk about the link so you can just find that in the description of the video right right you already you're right you do already have a patreon setup i forgot about that yeah i do a patreon setup with absolutely zero backers right now <laughs> but it's still set up that can be changed i mean all of I mean, stuff will be in the description you gotta yes, give it time you. You, please, you gotta give it time please, dude. um definitely join the discord um we already have donovan and luigi there and we're all just kind of have a really great time together um, it's a combination of all the different gaming communities that I've been a part of over the past four years or so. So there's a lot of great people in there. And you'll definitely have a lot of fun with us, for sure. Alright, Luigi, go. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, YouTube.com slash user slash LuigiMan2201. You know, there's going to be a link in the description. You just have to say what your channel is. Yeah, well, you didn't give me any grounds to go on. <laughs> uh, I have a Twitch, but that's probably not going to be uh, anything substantial for a while. Priority, priority is going to be on YouTube to just get that rolling. And once I do, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, because then once, once it gets rolling, I'll actually start uh, posting updates and, uh, and everything on, on Twitter. Yeah. Um, for my channel, because I know um, you guys are all like Nintendo and stuff like that, um, I am doing a Pokemon week next week on my channel. Uh, the week after, I am doing, uh, I'm starting my Odyssey Let's Play. Um, and then you, I. You, and you've then decided. Also, you've decided. I've decided, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, um, not this weekend, but the weekend after, um, I'm probably going to stream Mario Kart 8. So. Um, definitely going like full Nintendo push the next couple of weeks. Don't you dare do Coliseum! Don't you dare do Coliseum without me and Coco. I, if I'm doing any Pokemon games, I'll let you know. But I'm not doing um, like a Pokemon week is just gonna be like general videos, um, just not really gameplay. <laughs> it's fine, dude. All right, yeah. and in the description you can find a link to my my Discord server. <laughs> uh, Pokemon. Yeah. It's garbage. It's, it's terrible. Be, Don't join it. Just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a, uh, you're gonna use that against me. It is a, uh, it's a Nintendo themed server, though we talk about literally anything. It's we have a channel for Splatoon, Fire Emblem, anime. It's 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 wonderful. I love it. And you can find that. That'll be the first link in the description because it's way more important than any of my other friends. Oh, I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> and in the later episodes, we will be talking about uh, games from our childhood. Definitely excited for that episode. What we want to see on Pokemon Switch. We plan to do a Fire Emblem episode. For all you Fire Emblem fans out there. Not like there are any. Ooh. Wow. And a lot more, so be sure to subscribe and stick around. Alright. Bye. Bye.